working on is using the trunk function to take these numbers that we have right here and reduce them to a certain amount of significant figures. So the trunk function looks like this right here. And it's short for truncated, uh, which actually means to shorten. So if we look at our, um, our model right here, or our chart, we were giving a number of distances uh, that certain tires have traveled. So this is a manufacturer test for different numbers of tires. And um, different manufacturers want a different number of significant figures um, for the distance. Um, this could be for putting it into a report um, or a summary. Um, some will not require to have that kind of precision. And so what we're going to do is knock down the significant figures and find a new distance. Um, before we did that, I did want to recap how to find significant figures. Um, so I actually learned this one back in high school, and this has helped me a lot. Uh, essentially, you'll take your number, and your number will either have a decimal present, or it will have a decimal absent. And so um, all of ours in our table have a, a present decimal. Um, but down here in the practice, we do have a couple that don't have any decimals. And so essentially what you'll do, if you have a present decimal, there is a decimal in your number, you're going to start on the left side of the number, over here. If you don't have a decimal in your number, you're going to start on the right side and move this way. And um, this is cool little analogy. Um, present, Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is on the left side of the United States. Absent, A, the Atlantic Ocean is on the right side, or the east, east and west. Um, and so that that's kind of helps you what, to know which side of the number to start on. Present, Pacific, you'll start on the left and go this way. Absent, Atlantic, you'll start on the right and go this way. Um, and so what you're doing here when you're going left, you're skipping all the zeros. You skip all the zeros until you hit a non-zero number, and then that's when you begin starting counting significant figures. For the absent, when there's no decimal, you start on the right, you skip all the zeros going this way until you hit a non-zero number, and then that's when you begin counting your significant figures. So if we come over here, 123,000, there is no decimal, so it's absent. We'll start on the right side right here. You skip all the zeros until you get to the first non-zero number, so it's right here. So we have one, two, three significant figures. If we come over here, 54.34, there is a decimal present, so we'll start on the left side we have no non-zero numbers, so we start counting immediately. One, two, three, four significant figures. We have a very similar number right here. There is a decimal present, so we'll start on the left side. Skip all the non-zeros. There are no non-zeros. Or there are only non-zeros. I think I messed it up in the last one, too. So there are only non-zero numbers, so we'll start at the beginning. One, two, three. Uh, we come down to 0 0.0098. There is a decimal present. We'll start on the left. This one, we'll have to skip all the zeros until we hit our first non-zero, which is this nine. So one, two, two significant figures. For the last one, there's no decimal present. It's absent. We'll start on the right side. Skip all the zeros until you hit that first non-zero. There it is. And even if there's zeros after this, you have to count them uh, because you do have a non-zero right here. So you skip all the zeros until you hit something that's not zero, and then you count the rest of the number. The whole, the whole thing counts. So we're skipping our zeros. Start here. One, two, three, four, five significant figures. There we go. Um, and now what we're going to do is apply our trunk function to these distances um, per the manufacturer's request of significant figures and get a new distance. So we need four significant figures for this first number. So one, two, three, four. Um, again, uh, since there's a, there's a decimal present in all of these, so we're going to start counting from the left. And since none of our numbers start with a zero, we won't be skipping any. Um, our count starts with the, the very first number here, since it's a non-zero. Um, so that makes it easier for us. Um, we just start over here and then count how many significant figures they need. So the way the trunk 
function works is it um, returns a, a certain number of digits. You, you program it to return a certain number of digits that you want, um, and it that's relative to your decimal right here in your number. And so, for example, um, we'll be over here. We'll plug in trunk, and this is the number we want to knock down. Do a comma number of digits. If you plug in four, it's not going to work. So, like I said before, it's relative to your um, your decimal right here. So we want four significant figures. So that's one, two, three, four. We need it to stop at the one. So that means we need our decimal right there after the one. So essentially, we need to move our decimal point backwards, one number. We need to move it back negative one. Uh, and this will make more sense as we go further. So we'll do negative one, and we can check. We only have one, two, three, four significant figures. So we'll do that again with our second tire. This time we need six significant figures. We'll start up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one, it's actually one after the decimal place. So you're adding one. And so we can check one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do that again. Our number, we need three significant figures. We start at the front, one, two, three. We need it to end at the six. So we'll take our decimal place and we'll pop it back one, two. So we're moving it back negative two spots. So we do negative two. That gives us a number with only three significant figures. And we will continue to do that as we go further. This one, only two significant figures. So that's one, two. So we need it after the six. So our decimal is right here. We need to go back one, two, three places. So back, that's negative, negative three. So now we only have, we have a number with only two significant figures. And we will do that again. Right here, six significant figures. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to move it one to the right. So that's just gonna be a positive one. There we go. We'll do that three more times. Four significant figures. So we'll start here, one, two, three, four. It's gonna be right after the two. So we move our decimal place back one. That's gonna be a negative one. This one, once again, only two significant figures. So it'll be right here, one, two, after the eight. So we'll move our decimal place, one, two, three. So negative three, moving three backwards. There we go. And finally, six significant figures. So we'll start here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're moving our decimal place one to the right. So it's just a positive one. Enter. And there we have it. And so now we've knocked our numbers down to much more palatable form um, that our tire manufacturers can use. All right. Well, I hope this helped. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day.